Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be setting the ignition timing. And here are some of the tools I'm going to be using to help complete the project. So we've got some great reference materials here. The Vincent guys will recognise these instantly. Um, we've got a, a piston stop tool here, just filed off the flat here, just to let air out as we use that. Um, got um, another, it's a top dead centre tool here, not necessarily a stop, it just floats up and down as a reference point. Then um, a 4BA socket here for the little nut at the end of the points assembly on the magneto. This is a 5 16 socket, that's for the nut on the end of the auto advance unit, I should say, the bolt. And then talking of bolts, there's another bolt there to hold the auto advance unit at full advance when I'm fitting it. Um, an adjustable spanner or a wrench using this to turn the engine over. I don't actually have the primary chain fitted or the clutch so I'm um, having to do this by hand instead of using the back wheel. And then um, what we have here, we've got a couple of feeler gauges that's set at 12 thousandths for the points gap in the magneto. And then last but not least, we have this. It's what we call a magneto synchronizer. It's just a fantastic device. I'm going to use this to uh, gauge when the points open. The moment that they open, um, there'll be a little red light that goes off and um, it will beep as well, pretty loud beep, so that I can be working on the other side of the bike. So I'll show you how that works, but it's been terrific. I actually bought this for my Triumph and so hoping that I can use it here as well. And finally I've got a degree wheel or a timing disc set up. Just rigged up, a, it's just a plastic coated coat hanger here and uh, positioned it on the degree wheel for now. I haven't set any of the timing yet. And then this also just fits into that quill feed on the big end. Here I've just marked the, the tip of the pointer with just a black felt tip pen. And I just wanted to mention a note about the timing. Uh, the, the instruction manual um, refers to the repeat as 39 degrees before top dead centre here. Um, but from everything I've read, it should be retarded with modern fuels, etc. And so I'm going to go with 35, uh, which is what it's set at right now, just as an indicator. I read 34 as the sort of magical number, but I'm going to go with 35 and then we'll take it from there. Okay, we'll start by setting top dead center on this rear cylinder, number one. I'll just turn the timing disc, the degree wheel, like let's say 50. This is pretty firm, by the way. Um, I know you can move this pointer as well, but I, I like to leave the pointer static. So we're at 50 degrees before top dead centre, just as a rough estimate, and we're going to set top dead centre on the rear cylinder. Using the adjustable wrench, I'm just cranking the engine over until I can feel the compression stroke. There it is. And then I'll just watch for the piston coming up. It's coming. This is just going to be an initial guess at top dead center. Using this top dead center tool. So, and again, cranking the engine just to see if I can figure out where it goes over. So it's still rising there, you see that? I'm continuing to turn. Still rising, still rising. Stopped, stopped, stopped. And returning back down now there. So in one of those stop, stop, stop was top dead center. So I'm gonna go back. It's going down there. And I'd say, I'll leave it there and we'll call that top dead center for now. Let's assume that that was exactly top dead center that we just set. So resetting to zero there. 
and now we're going to use the piston stop to verify exact true top dead center here I'm on the other side of the bike and I'm just going to crank it back just a, f a little bit just so we can set that top dead center tool here I'm removing the top dead center tool and replacing it with the piston stop so piston stops going in this is where it gets a little serious you still need to be super careful how that screws in and when we're resetting this just to make sure that we're not going to knock this with the crown of the piston okay so that's bottomed out and just snug this nut up I'll just nip that up with my fingers I'm just going to very carefully crank the engine back and then bring it back to the stop just to establish the first marker okay and it's stopped there now let's go and see what degree it reads on the degree wheel okay for this very first reading we are at exactly 18 degrees before top dead center. So now I'm gonna go around the other side of the bike and crank the engine completely over. This one. Okay, it's stopped right there. Let me back it up a little. It stopped right there. So we're back on the timing side and as you can see we're out just a few degrees. Uh, so this one, this now we're measuring 15 degrees after top dead center. And so there's two ways to measure this. Uh, what we can do, one way we would add the first reading of, of 18 before top dead center plus 15 degrees after top dead center equals 33 degrees then we divide 33 degrees by 2 to give us 16 and a half degrees which is what this measurement should be uh, representing true top dead center when we go back to zero the other method is we take um, 18 degrees as the first reading 15 degrees as this reading we take the lowest from the highest so we take 15 from 18 so 18 minus 15 equals 3 degrees we divide the 3 degrees by 2 to give us 1.5 degrees and then we add the 1.5 degrees to the lower of the 2 uh, or we subtract it from the higher of the 2 so in this case we would do 15 plus 1.5 equals 16 and a half degrees so one way or the other uh, this the correct reading now should be 16 and a half degrees with this piston stop set so now if I go to 16 and a half now when we go back to top dead center it truly should be top dead center as determined by the piston stop. I've now set the degree wheel at true top dead center, the zero mark on the degree wheel. While we're at it, we can also check our valve clearances. So the push rods can turn by hand, but no tapping. So here I'm using this 4BA socket. I'm trying to find the place where it seems to be the widest opening and then with a feeler gauge at 12 thousandths of an inch let's see if that, that that's going in that's fine yeah perfect and I'm finally ready now to set the ignition timing at 35 degrees before top dead center what I'm probably going to do is back the engine off to about 50 degrees before top dead center just to get rid of any lash and then bring it back
Now with the degree wheel set at 35 degrees before top dead centre, this is where we want the gap of the points assembly to just open. And this is where the magneto synchronizer comes in. So uh, we're going to connect to the earth. And then let's connect to, say here, because I want to use that centre bolt to turn the unit. And then I'll turn it on. Hopefully the points aren't open, otherwise I'll blast my ears. Okay, and so there's the unit. If you can see. This button here, this light, says that the points are closed. And as, as I turn the points assembly now, as the point opens, points open, the red light should appear here and we'll hear a beep. And then if we can just catch it at that very moment, that's the place where we want to lock down the auto advance unit on the other side at full advance. Okay, close. see how close we are there so it's just a hairline it's on there so you're just touching it that's the points opening right there We now have the degree wheel set at 35 degrees before top dead center. And using this synchronizer, we've rotated the points assembly to the point where they, the gap has literally just occurred. So if I put this back on now, it's on. Uh, it's not like it's full on or anything. That's the moment that they came on. And so now we have to install the auto advance unit with it set at full advance. This is the tricky part. Here on the timing side of the bike, we now have to install this auto advance unit onto the spline of the magneto without disturbing the position of those, of that, those points. Um, it might be just a process of elimination. As you, as you can see, you've also got a bolt in here fitted in the auto advance unit to fully advance it because that's how it needs to be set at 35 degrees and this little horseshoe washer that falls out 27 times we'll try and make sure that that stays in so here goes and we'll check from time to time that those points have not moved Okay, my gosh. All right, so uh, I felt that the threads held there. So it's, it's holding on to the screw thread of the magneto. I think I've no doubt moved it. Turning that on now, tighten it up just a little bit, just enough where I can get the washer behind it. Drop this horseshoe washer nip it up with my hand and then I'm going to go and check on the points okay that looks or sounds like it's still correct on the other side what we're going to just do now give this a little tap with a rubber mallet just to kind of lock it onto that spline not too much just don't want to dislodge it again one two three and then start tightening ever so carefully. There'll come a point when I want to hold on to the magneto as well at the other end.
Okay, um, I can't say I'm too terribly hopeful about this. Uh, what I'll do, I'll back the engine off to about 50, 60 degrees and then come back on to 35 degrees um, with the synchronizer switched on and we will see at what point the points open now that this is tightened up. If we are at 35 degrees, it will be a miracle. If not, we have to start over. We have to take this auto advance unit off and start the process again. Must be the magical number. It must be a sign, guys. <laughs> 34 degrees before top dead center. I was shooting for 35. Um, overwhelmingly, I see there's a lot of uh, support for 34. It actually landed on 34, so I'm going to leave it at 34. How about that? So that's the rear cylinder, number one. And now we need to just double check on the front cylinder, number two. Here, what we do is just simply repeat the process that we did on the rear cylinder, on the front cylinder, by getting to top dead center first of all, resetting the timing wheel to zero again, and then um, seeing where we are in terms of the, the points opening and the beep occurring again at hopefully 34 degrees before top dead center. 